So today I'm talking about how to go about fixing the HANA with the EVAP leak problem, some of the causes and fixes for this, and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the EVAP system? Well, the EVAP system was created to help send all the gas vapors from the gas tank back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And this is for emissions. And there's several components involved in the EVAP system. And so the EVAP system on the Honda is, is going to have a hose coming from the gas tank to take the gas vapors up towards the engine. And the first stop is going to be the charcoal canister, which does different things. It can store the gas vapors when the engine's off and things like this. It'll also be full of charcoal to help neutralize the gases. And a major component that's usually on the charcoal canister is called the vent solenoid. And this can open or shut depending on what the computer wants to do. It'll do this when it wants to test the system and things like this. And this will be located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. So after it reaches the charcoal canister, it goes up around through it with the hose and it goes up to the top of the engine to a purge valve solenoid. And what this does, it just stays closed when the engine's off so that no gas vapors escape. And then when the engine is running, it opens and the gas vapors go into the engine and they get burnt off. And so that's the basics of an EVAP system and the main components. And so the first thing you do when you get an EVAP system leak or with any EVAP problem really, is to go check the gas cap because this is a part of the EVAP system and it needs to seal because the whole system needs to go into a slight vacuum in order to work properly. So go check out the gas cap. Be sure it's sealing good. Be sure there's no cracks or it's not damaged or anything like this. It might be good, but you just want to check it because if it's not sealing good, then it could cause problems. And if it does look damaged, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and replace it. Just one thing to mention is that be sure to get an OEM gas cap for your particular Honda since third party aftermarket ones sometimes cause issues. They don't seal correctly and things like this. So if you do replace the gas cap, be sure to get an OEM original one for your particular year and model of Honda. And so if the gas cap all looks good and there's no issues there, then the next thing to go and check is going to be the purge valve. And this is located up inside the engine compartment. So if you pop the hood, you'll be able to find it in there. It'll have two hoses going to it and it'll have a wiring harness coming in. And they're pretty simple little device. They just open when the engine's running so the gas vapors flow into the engine and get burnt off and when the engine's not running it just closes so that the gas vapors can't escape and so go and examine this check all these hoses be sure they all look good there's no leaks or anything like that check out the wiring harnesses all plugged in good you can test this solenoid if you wanted to to be sure it's good some people would replace it but however you want to do it the next thing to go and check would be the purge valve and then if that all looks good the next thing to go and check will be the charcoal canister and the vent valve and these can be common problems when when there's a leak going on and this will be located up around the gas tank somewhere it'll it can vary on the honda model and things like this but it'll, it'll be there somewhere around the gas tank and this will have different hoses going to it and it'll also have the vent valve and this vent valve the computer will open it at certain times and then it'll close it and it'll run tests to see if there is a leak so if this vent valve doesn't close all the way or if there's an issue with it then that can cause a leak so that's something to keep in mind and to check these can be tested but mainly go and check all the wiring be sure everything's plugged in good be sure there's no leaks in these hoses or anything like that there's no cracks in the in the charcoal canister because any problems here can cause a leak. So if you check out those components and those things all look good, then very likely one of the hoses has a leak somewhere. If you took it to a mechanic, what they do is they'd use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system and wherever the smoke came out, they would know there's a leak and then they go and fix it. Now very likely you're not going to have a smoke machine to feed smoke into the EVAP system, but what you can do is to go back around and start checking all these hoses Find the hose that goes from the gas tank up to the charcoal canister and examine it really well. Check out the hose leaving the charcoal canister and going up to the purge valve and then from there, from the purge valve going into the engine. Because at this point, very likely there is a, one of these hoses is leaking. If the components all check out good and that vent valve all looks good, then very likely there is a hose leaking somewhere and it'll have to be found and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a hana with the evap leak problem if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day